Where are they now, Muggsy Bogues? You may remember Bogues as the shortest player in NBA history. A tougher than nails point guard who was a pest on defense and could dish the rock. Muggsy went 12th in the 87 draft and linked with one of the tallest players ever, Manute Bowl. A year later, he was scooped up by Charlotte and quickly became a fan favorite. By his third season, Muggsy was fourth in the league in assists, and by year seven, he was averaging a double-double. Those 90s Hornets teams were a problem, and we all remember Muggsy's role in Space Jam. After a nagging injury, Bogues made a few more stops before retiring in 2001. So where has Muggsy been since? Upon retirement, he got into real estate. In 05, he became head coach of the WNBA's Charlotte Sting. In 2011, he coached a high school basketball team. In 2014, he became a Hornets team ambassador. In 2020, he was elected to the North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame, and he's played in multiple All-Star celebrity games over the years. He published a book and even invested in a Shark Tank company. Muggsy is all about giving back, starting the Muggsy Bogues Foundation and running basketball clinics for youths. Safe to say Muggsy defied the odds, proof that big things come in small packages. And now you know where Muggsy Bogues is. You know, in the Bible, there was the shortest man also in the Bible. His name was Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a wheel little man. Climb up in the sycamore tree just to see Jesus. What unique character you can learn is that his character, his character and resiliency that he didn't stop to look upon Jesus to find Jesus to be with him because Jesus called him to come down and they went to his house, to Zacchaeus' house to dine with Jesus and he's ready to give up, he's willing to give up everything, his wealth possession and to give all back to the, the people where he collected because he was a tax collector of the Roman Empire before the time.